Hi friends, I'm going to do a review on booty pods um, and kind of show you how to fill them and how I use them with my booty pod covers. Not that it's difficult, but it is a little bit of a learning curve at first to kind of figure out how to use these guys. Booty pods are awesome because they keep your wipes moist forever. <laughs> You'll never have a dry wipe. And they're so thin um, and flexible, they fit anywhere. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to move this camera down a little so you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully it doesn't tip over on me. Okay. So, first tip is when zipping and unzipping the booty pod, I always have one hand up here. Um, you can't really do it with one one handed. You have to use both hands, at least I do. So, to fill this up, I just have a stack of wipes here. I use for anywhere from 10 to 20 wipes. And I've opened this up. I just do one side at a time. Put in each corner. Go to the other side. Flip this up. And just kind of push in that corner. Push in that corner. And you can just kind of adjust it and make sure they're all in there straight and fancy. Okay. So there it is full. Once again, to close it up, I'm going to hold it with my thumb and finger while I zip it closed. And it makes a pretty tight seal. There is a little tiny opening, but it still stays completely moist. And for an added little fun attraction here, I make booty pod covers. This is a jujube fabric, uh, laminated chocolate roses, one of my favorites. And so I kind of do the same thing. You put in one corner and one corner, and then you put in the other corner here, other corner here. And there are several seamstresses that make booty pod covers, um, and everyone kind of makes them differently. Mine, I use one whole piece, so mine have a little bit of a lip on the inside. Sometimes you have to maybe um, get the pod on top of that little piece right there. Um, some of them don't seem to have a problem, but sometimes if it's not fitting, you can just kind of lift up and make sure that the pod is on top of that little lip there. Okay. So, little demo here. This is what I would do. Here's my baby. Hey, baby! And here is my diaper. So I got baby, diaper, wipes. Before I do anything, I open up my pod and get out a wipe. So, one or two. So they're already ready since it takes two hands to get the wipe out. Change baby. Da, 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 da. And then you want to make sure you close your pod cover. And if it ever comes off track, it's pretty easy to get it back on. This is just a plastic little like a Ziploc type thing. Um, just kind of pinch it back together. You can get it back on track. And I'll show you how it fits into a quick. This is my son's quick. It has a disposable change pad two size six diapers in there and here's how my booty pod covers fit into a quick so it's it's almost up to the zipper but it just fits perfectly zips up and you've got your changing quick there i hope that was helpful to anyone that um is thinking about getting a booty pod or maybe they're trying one and they had troubles with it um, I just always have to use both hands to get it open and closed. And I also make covers um, from non-jujube material. It doesn't have to be expensive, fancy pants jujube. Um, I make them out of pretty much anything. Um, regular quilting cotton sometimes is a little flimsy.
So I like to use canvas or um, just fabrics that are a little bit thicker. But if you're interested in ordering a booty pod cover for me, I'd love to help you out. Make one that matches your cute bag or colors that you love. Um, they're great gifts for new moms too. Um, we deserve to have some cute matching stuff, right? Um, contact me on my Etsy shop, littleedesign.etsy.com. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Bye.